All right, so we're looking to finish off 13.4. And we are looking at the normal. Um. All right, so this uh, part of um, 13.4, the title, the standard normal distribution, and to start off with z-scores, your z-score is going to represent the distance of data value is from the mean in terms of standard deviations. So let's say All right, so um, if your z-score ends up being 1.23, that means the data value is 1.3 standard deviations above the mean or greater than the mean. If it's negative 0.78, then the data value is 0.78 standard deviations below the mean or less than the mean. So, And um, what dictates above or below is the fact that it's positive or negative.
All right. So your Z-score chart. We're going to get our values from the Z-score chart, the values that matter, the, value that are, the values that we're going to use in our application. We're going to get them for the Z-score chart. And the way we look at it, or the, with the chart that I have, uh, different charts are different. The one I'm going to send to you guys is fairly easy to use. The one the book uses is a little more, um, I'll say a little more involved. They still give you the same answers. It's just that um, there's a little more of a process that goes to the one that the book uses. Now, feel free to use it if you like, um, but I'm going to give you an easier chart. And let me write a note to myself to send that chart today. I'll make the chart accessible to you guys. Um, so the way the chart that I have is set up is that it starts on this left column with negative 3.4 and it goes to positive 3.4. All right, it goes from negative 3.4 to positive 3.4. Then this top row goes from 0.00 to 0 0.09. All right. So the way you would read this is if my z-score is 1.23, I look for 1.2 over here and 0 0.03 up here. So look for 1.2 on that left column and then that 0 0.03 on the top row. And where they meet is where my what my answer would be. And I'll tell you what the answer means in a second. So let me see if I can share... What the chart looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I want to go to the next page. Let me work on a second. All right, let's do this. Pull up the other side. Right, here we go. Nope, the final is not in person. Nope, we'll do it on Zoom. Not Zoom, um, Blackboard Collaborate. I just need to be able to see you guys on that day. So, cool, cool, cool. So, right now, you guys, you know, I don't have to see you doing a regular lecture, but, um, you know, on that day, I would have to see you guys. Okay, so here we go here. Here's that, um, the Z score chart, chart, at least half of it. And I will look for, Point two, point one, point two, right here, and then point oh three here, and then where they meet. Whoa, my line getting is where the value is that I need. So that's point zero eight nine. All right. So questions on how you get my value before I tell you what that value means. So we have 1.2 on that left column, 0 0.03 on that top row. That gives me, my, that's what my 1.23 uh, Z-score value is. Same thing as if, let me go back to the chart. Same thing as if I was looking for, uh, let's say 0 0.0, let's say 0.45. So 0.4 is right here, the 0 0.5 is right here, so then I will see where they meet up, and that will be right there. All right, so 0.45, if that's my z-score, then the chart value that I need is right there. All right, so let's go back to the example that I had, though. It was 1.2, so 1.2 is here. It was 1.23. 1.2 is here, and then 3 is right here. So I'm looking at 0 0.8907. All right. 
So 0 0.8907 is where that meets. Now, so what this means now, if you were to look at that chart, there's also this diagram right here. And all this is saying is that the chart value given is always less than. All right, so it's, so every time they give you a uh, value in this chart, it's telling you how much data is less than the data value that you're looking at or um, how much data value will be to the left of the data value that you that you get looking at. So when you look at just a regular uh, number line, if I look at the number one, everything that's less than it will be to the left of it. Everything that's greater than it will be to the right of it. Same thing as if I look at positive two, Everything that's less than it will be to the left of it, and everything that's greater than it will be to the right of it. So we're going to have keywords, and I'll put down keywords and phrases that will let you know what you should be doing and what you should be looking for, whether you're looking for less than or greater than. Uh, we'll have keywords that uh, dictate uh, what we're going to do. So, but going here, this is telling us that 8.907 is less than that Z score. So let's see what that means for us. Hold on one second, I want to make sure I wrote something. Right. All right. So your z-score being equal to 1.23, that represents a data value. And we're going to talk about how you convert that in a second. And so we got that 0 0.8907 from the chart. So that means 0 0.8907 or 89.07% of the data is less than this data value. And then if we want to know how much is greater than it, we will subtract it from one. And we talked about uh, the normal distribution and the properties of normal distribution. And so everything under that curve is equal to one. So if you know what's to the left of it, that means you know also what's to the right of it by subtracting it from one. And so that means 10.93% of the data is greater than the data value. So the chart automatically gives you what's less than. So if you want to know what's greater than, we will be subtracting that chart value from one.
to find your z-score or calculate your z-score. You're going to take your data value, subtract the mean, and divide by the standard deviation. So let me see, first example to ask you to do this. Let's go here. All right, so first thing to write is soda machine dispenses soda into 12 ounce cups. Tests show that actual amount of soda, let me see, did it say the? Yep, should have been the there. Show that the, show that the actual amount of soda dispensed is normally distributed. And that's talking about our, you know, bell shaped curve with a mean of 11.5 ounces and standard deviation of 0.2 ounces. First question. All right, so first question, what percent of cups will receive less than 11.25 ounces of soda? All right, so the first thing we want to do is convert to a z-score. All right, so they give us our mean. Mean is 11.5. Standard deviation is 0.2. And our data value, whatever we're comparing or questioning, um, is going to be our data value. That's going to be x, and that's 11.25. And so I remember, remember I mentioned that your z-score is going to be a data value minus the mean over the standard deviation. All I did was use the symbols and start writing the words. So it's 11.25 minus 11.5 divided by 0.2.
That's a negative 1.25. I didn't mention this before, but so I was drawing your z score to two decimal places. Question before we go to the chart. So now we go to the chart. And remember how we're going to do this. We're looking for negative 1.2 on this left column and 0 0.05 that top row. We want to see where they meet. All right, so. All right, trying to share this thing. Oh, shit, the wrong one. Hold on, guys. Trying to find the negative. Okay, there we go. All right, finally. Okay, so we're looking for negative 1.25. So negative 1.2 is here. Five is up here. And that's what we have, 0 0.1056. All right, are you okay with that? All right, so point one zero five six is there. So now All right, so go back to your question. We were looking for less than. Remember I mentioned before that the chart gives us less than, so we just use the chart value. So as far as your answer is concerned, what we're asking, what percent of cups will see less than? So 10.56. And pay attention to what we signed. They may want two decimal places. They may only want one. Um, so if you had to round it, that would be 10.6. 10, 10 um, of the cups.
So 10.56% of the cups will receive less than 11.25 ounces of soda. So don't forget 11.25 was our data value. So that's what we were comparing it to. See. All right, so what percent of cups will receive more than ten point seven five ounces of soda? So first move is to convert 10.75 to a Z score. Mean and standard deviation is going to be the same. Our data value is what's going to change. So our mean was 11.5, standard deviation was 0.2. your data value minus the mean over the standard deviation. positive. I'm going to change that 10.75. Let's go with something greater than the mean, since I think our last one was negative, right? I'm making this up. That was negative 1.25. So let's go on to 12.75. Let's do 12.75. Let's see, 12.75 minus 11.5. Um, how about 11, 11.75? Hold on, 11.75 minus 11.5 divided by 0.2. Um, about 11.8. Want to be a little different than what we've already done. All right, let's do 11.8. So what percent of cups will receive more than 11.8 ounces of soda? So I'm going to convert, convert 11.8 to a z-score. All right. Process is still the same. I just wanted to get a positive value uh, since we had a negative last time. It doesn't really matter. 
uh, just for no purposes. So 11.8. Minus 11.5 divided by 0.2. It's going to be 1.50. So now we'll go to the chart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, one point five zero. One point five will be on the left. Zero zero up top. And they meet at one Three, three, two. All right. So, what does that mean for us? All right, so the chart gives less than, but we need more than. So we're going to subtract the chart value from one. So it's point zero six six eight. And this means that uh six point six eight percent of the cups will receive more than Seven point eight ounces. <laughs> All right. One more scenario, and then we'll be. So what percent of cups will receive between? So the keyword this time will be between. So going back, we had three di we have three different scenarios. One is less than. You would just use the chart value. One is more than or greater than, which means you would take the chart value, subtract it from one. Then we have this third scenario, which is between, which would cause us to do 
one other thing. So first thing we need to do is convert both of our z-scores into uh, both of our data values to z-scores. So the mean, 11.25, no, 11.5. Standard deviation is 0.2. So we have first data value, which is 11.2. Second data value, 11.55. So that first Z score come from X1. Um, yeah. So it's 11.2 minus 11.5 over 0.2. That'd be a negative 1.5. And then that second Z score. Where it go? 11.55. Minus 1.5. 0.2 is going to be 0.25. So we converted both of them to z scores. 0.2 minus 1.5. Negative. Mm -hmm. Just making sure I got my spots and my numbers right. So basically, when we would look at the z-score chart or the um, not the z-score chart, but the normal distribution, we're looking for the amount of information that's in between z-score one and z-score two. So we go to the chart. So after you ca calculate your z-scores, the move to make is always to go to the chart afterwards because you need to chart values so z1 negative 1.50 and then z2 that is 0.25 One, zero, zero, six, six, eight. The other one is. I must have moved slow. Point two five is. Nice. All right, so I went to the chart and got those two values. So, what we're going to do with those. We're going to subtract the two chart values. My answer will be uh, right, um, fifty three point one nine percent of cups will receive.
was there 11 point ounces and 11.55 ounces So that would be your answer. 53.19% of cups will receive between 11.2 ounces and 11.55 ounces of soda. All right, and that is it for 13.4. So from this point forward, we will be uh, reviewing, uh, answering questions, you know, whatever it is you guys have. Um, make sure you pay attention to your emails. If you decide that you don't have any questions, then that's fine. You don't necessarily have to show, uh, but make sure you're keeping the communication by paying attention to your emails because I will be shooting out, like I said, information for um, your final exam, and as I mentioned, uh, your classmate asked, is your final exam um, in person? The answer is no to that. Uh, we will still do it the same way through Blackboard Collaborate, it's just that I would need to see your your um, your, your cameras would need to be uh, activated so that I can see you and make sure you bring your ID so that I can validate that you know you are who you are because most of you keep your cameras uh muted you know kept it muted for, for the whole semester so uh make sure uh you let me allow me to be able to see so just to make just do a recap on our three scenarios less than you would use the chart value given more than subtract the chart value from one and then for between subtract the two chart values from each other. Those are your three scenarios. So any phrase that was that uh, means less than, whether it be below, shorter, um, under, colder, um, would get that first scenario. Second scenario, more than. So uh, above, greater than, taller than, higher than, uh, represents more than, and you will subtract the chart value from one. And then between, I means I don't know how many different ways you can say between. I think it's just that one, but you'll subtract the two chart values that you find. Keep in mind, you are subtracting the chart values, not your z-scores. All right. Any questions before we close out? All right. Uh, thank you guys for coming out today and sticking it out. Uh, you guys have a great day, and I will see you possibly on Friday, depending on if you have those questions. I'll be here, though. All right. Have a good one, and I will see you on Friday.